in many respects, downtown Wilmington is a bigger community than it actually is. Um, if you look at a town of about 110,000 people and other, other places across the country, they will not have near the amount of restaurants and shops and museums that we offer right here in Wilmington. The reason we're able to have those quality of life things though is because of the tourism market. We know from our surveys of residences and, and of people coming into town that uh, the Riverwalk is actually the top attraction for, uh, for the city of Wilmington. People want to come and walk along the Riverwalk. Uh, there's a new section that's under construction right now that will bring it all the way to the Isabel Holmes Bridge, which is to the north end of downtown. And ultimately, the bigger vision is to have the Riverwalk connect all the way down between both bridges. And the city should be commended for their efforts in continuing to invest and making sure that's a quality attraction. Uh, we are going to be having some major renovation work along Riverwalk Park. Uh, that was done in the, in the early 1980s, and so that's going to be undergoing a significant improvement, become much more user-friendly, and it's going to make a great setting for events and activities and, and other uh, things that take place along Water Street. But in addition to the Riverwalk, the city also has purchased uh, about six acres of land and be developing a public park on the northern side over by PPD. It's going to be more passive in its use, but passive can mean lots of different things. Uh, benches, uh, it can mean uh, landscaped areas. So uh, all kinds of things could be integrated into that park. And it's gonna be an important development magnet as we move forward because there's gonna be opportunities for private developers to come in around that and use the park as a front lawn for any kind of residential or commercial project that could be contemplated for that area.